you know, it's it's impossible to predict <laughs> milestones by definition. Uh, they're seen retrospectively, not prospectively. So I don't really know. I mean, for I can tell you what my design is for myself and uh, my lab. Uh, we're interested in continuing studies of SIRT1 in the brain. So particular. we don't understand and flee the functions of those sequence. So there are lots of things that we need to do in the coming 10 years. But in the, if I um, add up something to what Lenny mentioned, I think the regulation of certain activity is also a big issue. So right now that, you know, clean Well, scientific success requires that you are devoted to the question. Um, very little distractions, you focus on the, on the problem and you, every moment you're awake you try to figure out the solution. That's the best way to be a scientist, but if you want to... Uh, Potentially all seven sirtuins could be exciting future druggable targets. I think we need to better understand how they have tissue specific functions um, and, and understand the wide range of substrates and protein targets they interact with. Well, Sertris is an interesting company because it started off as a private company, it became a public biotechnology company, and then it became acquired by a large pharma company, GSK. And so it's gone through a path of, of, uh, of development over, over the last several years in which it's now... Uh,